What's up YouTube, Webers5 here coming at you with a follow-up from my recent deck profile explaining the combo of, of Magician's Souls and Gravekeeper's Shaman. So for those who don't know what Shaman so for those who don't know what Shaman does, or perhaps haven't seen one of my previous videos or my Celine Souls tip videos, Shaman just adds that extra level of disruption that is so good in the current meta right now. So for those who are so for those who are thinking, yeah, but is it really worth using Shaman? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Given that we're a control-based strategy going first, I thought you liked having a card that says you're not playing this game. So for those that don't know, Gravekeeper's Shaman has the continuous effect while she's on the field. Any, effect, any monster effect that activates in the graveyard, except for Gravekeeper's, is negated. That's just her regular. That's just her regular effect. That's insane. Do you have any idea how many decks that hits in the current meta? A lot. And then her, and her second effect is, if, Necro, if her and Necro Valley are on the field, your opponent cannot activate field spells and they cannot destroy field spells with card effects. So it has a built-in field barrier as well. The tandem of both has essentially won me so many games on Dueling Book. And the combo is so easy to do because with Magician Souls, she's very easy to go into, and by having a consistent amount of field spells, engines, it's pretty simple. So, without further ado, guys, let's go into the combo. Okay, guys, so my deck's all shuffled up, so here's the showcase the combo. Here's hoping I can open the, at least a couple of the pieces that sort the combo out. Let's see, we've got Mythical Institution, Souls. Okay, so that's one bet. Lost Cerberus, Secrets, and Reflection. Okay, so that's a pretty decent... So, I've already opened the Magician's Soul, so that's instantly really good. Okay, so, for, okay, so first thing I'm going to do is activate Magician's Souls and send Shaman to the grave to special summon our souls to the field. Uh, next, I'm gonna institution, Cerberus, then Cerberus to search. For a Jackal King, for a Jackal King. Institution gets two spell counts because a mythical beast was destroyed. Jackal King. Jackal King's gonna summon back the Cerberus. Give me small spell counters. Then I can. Is, then from there, I'm going to Institution for three. Institution for th three. And add Magister. I've still got my normal summon, but I want to try and use that for Crowley. Crowley searching. So let's see. I've done my search of institu. So I've done my search of institutions. So now this is a bit of a debating situation, guys, because I've got a secret in my hand. If I was to be able to search into another one. If I was able to use Crowley to guarantee that I can search into another one, I'd probably send this now with Souls to get two draws, but since I don't know what I'm going to get with Crowley, I can't exactly risk that. So for now, I'm just going to go Souls, get rid of this, and draw one. Okay, that's an in okay, instant fusion. That's pretty good. That's not terrible. So, so if I'm still potentially anticipating getting hand trapped or anything, I can now go instant fusion. Pay a pay thousand, summon out the millennium, summon out millennium eyes. But, fr but frankly, based on com. But I could also just simultaneously hold that till later. Actually, yeah, we're gonna hold that till later. See what we can do. So next, gonna try and bolster some spell counters. So gonna activate Magister. And probably leave it at the moment. 
link these to Crowley. Because we've got because we've got secrets in our hand, we're not too we're now not too fast on what we get off crap. Not too fast on what we get off Crowley. So Crowley reveals magician of prophecy, secrets, and knowledge. And knowledge. So let's go one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. Additional prophecy. So that's great. We've still got our normals. So we've still got that normal. We still have that normal sum from earlier. So we're going to. So we're going to. So we can. Uh, normal sum. Effect. Grab one of the two. Grab C. Grab secrets. Uh, see, see secrets grabs knowledge. Puts one on the magister. And, and since and since we were fortunate enough to get an additional spell book, you just go knowledge. Send the one in our hand to draw two. Just give this a quick cut before we do. See what we got. One, two. Okay, that's pretty good. Two. And from there. Yeah, let's just bolster the extra spell counter. Upstart. Draw. Okay, went into a secret village. That's pretty good. Got the ideal thing. I'd rather have the Necro Valley, but. So I'll showcase the other combo of with Necro. I'll showcase the other combo of if this was Necro Valley. But. Okay, so then from here, I'm gonna go. Since he's got enough spell counters, Magister. Moving. Th moving three. Summon himself. And. Why am I looking the upside down bit? Came from the extra. Each one gets one counter. And so and and now I think I'll do the instant fusion, paying a K. Some of the some of the millennium eyes. <coughs> Then we're going to set scales up of reflect of reflection. So five, because I forgot to do the one the institution. Give me it. Seven. That's one. And again, just because we want extra spell counters, we can do that secret village. Nothing to pendulum zone right now, so we can't do that. But so from there, make those two. Let's make our Celine. Gonna summon her over here because naturally the restrict's gonna go at the end for it. Then Celine gains counters equal to the number of spells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She's got a nine spell counter. And then the next, we're going to go uh, second uh, Dimion. Move six. Go Dimion, move six. Special. We're going to pop the, ma pop the Magister for one spell counter because Magister is going to replace himself there. And then with the open. And then now with some open zones. Sounds effect, ring three. Sorry guys, my D20s aren't in order, so I actually have to move And then we're gonna bring back Great Keeper Shaman. And so if we then proceed to the end phase, restrict destroys itself. But no. 
But now we've got. But now we've got. My opponent. My opponent has no monster. Has no monster effects in the graveyard. I've got a monster effect negate. A spell and trap negate. And my opponent can't activate spell cards. And I've got some. And I've got a few bit of resing as well. So that's a pretty solid. So that's a pretty solid option of what we've got turn one. Yeah. Now, if however instead, and if however instead of the secret village, I draw into say the Necro Valley. Naturally, I would do the Necro Valley at the end of the combo. So, if I were to change that to Necro Valley, so now I've got no monster effects. In, so my opponent's got no monster effects in the graveyard. They can't move. They can't move anything in the grave, and because of the countdown of these two, Shaman, st Shaman now states my opponent cannot activate a new field spell or destroy the Necro Valley, which is which for decks that rely on their field spells to go off, it can essentially just be game right there. Okay guys, so that's the basic combo of what you can do with Shaman. Hope you all enjoyed it. Leave a comment below what you thought about it. Admittedly, that probably wasn't one of the better boards I've made using the deck, because I didn't actually, you know, open the Necro Valley, hit the Secret Village instead, but I just wanted to showcase you guys what you can do with both. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'm hoping maybe some of you will, th and I hope this maybe gets you guys to consider maybe playing Shaman in your builds, because honestly guys, I do. I've done quite a bit of practice on Dueling Book, and frankly, if I do the combo of Shaman and Necro Valley, my opponents usually 9 out of 10 times scoop from turn 1, because they can't play. So, it's really that good. So, but thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Webers5, and if you're already subscribed, feel free to hit that notification bell so that you never miss an upload.